Okay, today we're going to work on problem 8.6, and there's a lot of information given here. We're told that an aircraft component is made of aluminum, and we're given the plane strain fracture toughness value. So K1C equals 40 megapascal root meters. Additionally, we're told that fracture occurs when a stress of 300 megapascals is applied to a sample that has an internal crack of 4 millimeters. So our internal crack, let's call it X, is 4 millimeters. Now X, that's this total length of the flaw. But because it's an internal flaw, we know that X is equal to 2 times the half crack length. Therefore, our half crack length is 2 millimeters. We can write our fracture toughness equation as follows. K1C equals Y times sigma times the square root of pi times the critical crack length. Normally, y is equal to 1.12 for these materials. However, it can be larger. And in this case, we're given information for K1C uh, sigma as well as the half crack length. Therefore, we're going to solve for y. And when we solve for y, we find that it is equal to 40 megapascal root meters divided by 300 megapascals times the product of the square root of pi times uh, 0 0.002 meters. Notice I converted 2 millimeters into meters to make sure that the meters and the megapascals cancel. Thus we end up with a material uh, scaling parameter which has no units and it's equal to 1.682. Therefore y is greater, um, y equals 1.682 which is greater than the 1.12 which is commonly used for materials that have an A over W approaching zero, where W is the total length of our sample. This basically means that for this case, the flaw is a little bit larger than normal since it's greater than zero when compared to the width of the sample. Now the second part of the question asks the following. For the same component, an alloy will fracture occur at a stress of 260 megapascals, if it has an internal flaw of 6 millimeters. Since it's the same material, we know that we can use the same fracture toughness. Therefore, we can write our fracture toughness as follows. K1C equals Y times sigma times the square root of pi times AC. We're going to use the same fracture toughness value before and we're going to use the same y as before. So 40 megapascal root meters equals 1.682 times our applied stress multiplied by the square root of pi times our critical crack length. This will allow us to solve for the critical crack length and compare it to the flaw that's present in our material. Critical crack length we find should be equal to 40 megapascal root meters over 1.682 times 260 megapascals. This quantity needs to be squared, and the whole thing is divided by pi. When we take the result of this, we find that it is equal to 0 0.00227 meters. Or in other words, our critical crack length, AC, is equal to 2.27 millimeters. This critical crack length is less than our half crack length in this material, 3 millimeters. Therefore, yes, fracture occurs.